And as we like to say on this show, step into the light. It is April the 19th, 2023. It is 4.54 a.m. in the morning. Six minutes before five o'clock. It is 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And I am full of gratitude. It's a beautiful morning. It's clear, it's cold. It's full of bird song. And it's full of us, right? <laughs> Just hanging out for a few minutes. First thing in the morning. I start off my gratitude list with the Foundation 7. We've graduated from 6. Yes. I make this gratitude list as a pay it forward because it's been the most helpful tool in my emotional toolbox to help me cope in this wild and wacky world. When my day is going sideways, I can refer to my old gratitude lists and be reminded and literally count my blessings. And it has a transformative effect on my day. It creates a neutral spot where I can make new decisions and new choices. I can choose to continue to be moody and let my mood run me. Or I can stand up to myself and run my mood. I can run my day. It's a gift. It really is. So I I should have this gratitude list. And it's a model for perhaps, you know, if you need this kind of help too, then you do it. I suffer from the chronic mopies, the chronic angries, and the chronic lonelies. And I have all my life. So this really helps for me. And uh, do it whatever form helps you. I've adapted the gratitude list to be the most successful and helpful for this individual here. You know? <clears throat> and... It's a state of grace to be, you know, to to realize how blessed we really are. Really is. So uh, my gratitude list, I start off with my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, my union job, and making the effort to get proper sleep, proper rest. So last night I was uh, hanging out with some old friends. One of my oldest friends. Her name's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And her husband, Justin. And uh, her two sons, uh, who are now 21 and 17. I got to see them grow up a little bit here and there. They live in Colorado. And um, I've known Lisa for near 30 years now. And it was just so... We went to Pizzeria Regina in the North End, one of the Boston's best pizzerias. And we hung out for an hour and a half or so. We ate some pizza, caught up, had a good time. I have not seen them since before lockdown 2020. So the kids have grown. Yeah. And um, they're not kids anymore. They're young men. And God bless them. They're handsome. They're awesome. And uh, good job. Good job, Mom. (laughs) And... I um, I usually do not do things after work. I just go home, have some supper, and chill out and try to get my body into a restful spot so I can go to sleep. So I'm usually I'm out asleep, usually on a usual day between 6.30 and 7.30. If I'm asleep by 7.30, I'm up at 3.30. That, there's your eight hours sleep. That's just math. Don't blame me. As always, and as always, bus, 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 bus. We have summoned the bus. Let's see if it works. Let's see if this bus call works. But we hung out and uh, I got home probably about, it was close to six o'clock. Hello. Bus, 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 bus. May you get to your destination safely and without incident. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah. um, Which is kind of like my bedtime-ish. And so when you get home, you need a shower and you need to unwind. 
and I'm like lying in bed. It's almost nine o'clock, and I'm like, it's getting close to nine thirty, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's like two hours of sleep I've missed. I'm all, I'm gonna get a bad night. And I think I fell asleep by nine thirty or so, and I slept solid, pretty much. Oh, burps. And uh, I'm just a little tired today. It's fine. You know, human up and go through it. Had a strong cup of coffee. But, you know, it's, it's a sacrifice. I, you know, I really wanted to see my friends. I'm so exhausted, stinky, and tired after work. But put in the effort and see your old friends and have a good time. And I had like two glasses of beer, which is like my limit on a uh, on a work night. And um, it was just nice. And it's hard not to feel just a little knackered, even having a little bit of beer, getting old. Yeah, but I'm blessed and grateful for these old friends and their kids and to be part of it and to be welcome and to have like a family supper, to have supper together. I eat alone a lot. Most of the time, yeah, I'm alone. <laughs> and having company, such charming company, and such old, great old friends that we've been friends for almost 30 years, and that's truly, truly blessings. And, 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 and that's, I'm grateful for that. Thank you so very much for tuning in. God bless, namaste, good luck. Like and subscribe. I would love to earn your subscription. We make daily content here. Join us. All right, you have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.